Hi guys, so I am in Next now. I am here to buy some things that we'll be traveling with because they're coming on Friday to pack. So I need to just get some things. I'll show you guys what I'm getting, shall like beans and stuff. Let's go. Um, the movers are coming to pack our things they're going to be moving our things from Nigeria to the UK but today we have to do our final packing we've been packing for a while like here and there bits and pieces hi girl hi baby uh, what's carrying you what's carrying you uh, yeah yeah uh, yeah uh, Sophia, Sophia did not go to school today because she's not feeling too well. Although right now her body is okay. Your body is okay. Um, so yeah, today we have to do the final, final packing. The movers told us that we don't have to pack anything. We just, because they came to supervise, not supervise, they came to inspect what they're going to be carrying. So according to them, we're not supposed to pack anything. We're supposed to just leave it for them. They'll come and pack it, you know, by themselves. However, that will not really work so well for us because I don't know. I just feel uncomfortable with them packing everything themselves. I feel like I need to control how they pack. My husband too feels the same way. So him too is going to do a lot of packing himself while I do a lot of packing myself. Okay, so basically what we are doing is sorting out what they will ship through air because we are entitled to air shipping and sea shipping and then, you know, um, the other ones will carry it ourselves, right? So today we're going to be sorting out we've already done that actually but today we'll finally sort out sort it out very well what will be going by air what will be going by sea and what we'll keep back what we'll just be managing so that we'll pack it eventually when we're going i don't intend to pack much so most of the things i'm going to be keeping back i'm going to be giving them away okay most of the things i'm going to wear from now because i'm traveling to canada anyway but most of the things i'm going to be wearing from now to canada trip come back and in december i'm going to give them away the only things i'm going to keep for myself are the things i'm going to wear in canada like the cold clothes and i'm going to buy clothes there in canada as well i'm going to buy like sweats um what do they call it like hoodies, sweaters and stuff like that. I'm going to buy them in Canada. So those ones, I won't give them away because I can wear them in the UK. However, every other thing, I'm just going to drop it here. I don't want to carry load. I don't want to stress myself. The space for traveling, I want to see to pack full stuff, okay? Um, so, yeah. So for sea freight, they are taking most of our big stuff. So they're taking our couch, television, decoration. Like this whole parlor is going with me. This is my whole parlor. Everything here is going with me, including the TV. Um, everything there is going with us as well. Um, our flowers, our picture frames downstairs and the lights. A lot of things are going with us actually, okay, because we have this space. Our fridge, I'm going with my fridge. I'm not going with my gas cooker. I'm leaving that one here. Yeah, so my pantry, all my containers, some of my baskets and all the storage stuff that I bought recently, I'm taking them as, as, as well. Okay, I'm packing them with me. So they're coming today to pack those ones. They're coming tomorrow, actually. Then the ones I'm taking through sea shipping is mostly our clothes. We don't really have much, but those important ones that we don't want to let go of, just a few clothes. Um, some clothes that are appropriate for the weather there. We're taking them but not too many clothes then other items like gadgets electronics little little bits and bobs here we are taking those ones through air freight i'm taking some food stuff through sea freight 
just a few because they don't allow so much. So they allow grains. So I'm taking beans. I've already bought it. I'm taking beans. I'm taking gari. I'm taking maybe some rice because I have rice at home a lot. But maybe not. I might just leave that one. Um, but I just take like a pack of rice that we can be eating there when we first land. Although my husband is going way before us, so I don't think what we eat when we land is going to be a problem. He would have had enough time to go for sh to go shopping and stuff like that. Sophia, don't follow. Um, yeah, so, but I have some food stuff I'm packing, so I'm taking beans, I'm taking gari, I'm taking indomie. That's it. I would have bought milk and stuff, milo milk and stuff, but to be honest, I beg, when I reach there, any amount of the center we go buy them, it's not something that I want to start packing from here, because in the sea shipping, the, the, we actually are entitled to a particular space for food stuff okay now it doesn't mean that you cannot carry as much as possible you can carry at any quantity you want but you have to pay for that one okay and if it causes any delay with your shipment you will have to pay for that one because the shipping is being covered by the company but they have allowances for it okay even the container that we are entitled to it has a measurement that's why they came, that's why they had to come and inspect our things to be sure that it will fit within that measurement if you want to carry more you are free to carry more but you're going to cater to the cost yourself and you are going to and the thing with food stuff again like they said is that food stuff can sometimes delay your shipment because of the searches and stuff like that so any delay any demorage you have to pay for it that's why we don't even want to play that game like we have enough space to pack food in our hand not hand luggage in our checking bags so we're going to use that one to pack food um, every other thing is just for our load and properties okay anyway i've talked too much i should have sat down for this part <laughs> but let me go and start um, sorting things and let me just show you guys what we've done so far those are my canada property you know i'm coming to canada so they are one side all these ones are going through air freight those, that's our safe that's my husband's ps5 some of my storage bins um backpacks there's some things inside like my hair my wigs are inside one of them um then some of my hair tools are inside here. Let me open these windows. Then in here we still have some odds and um, you know some things. I, I took some hangers. Um I carried some of our hangers, just the matching ones. I left the ones that are not matching. Then we're going with this TV. This TV is going to be in our room over there. Then we're also taking the TV in the downstairs parlor. That one would be in our living room over there because that tv is quite new so there's really no point leaving it i think these two are new then the one inside the living room that one is quite big as well but we're leaving that one behind there's really no point carrying that uh carry three tvs like we know that their houses are not the biggest i mean we're hoping to get a good enough space but we know that their houses are not that big so we don't want to now carry load and go there and be asking ourselves why or be thinking of how to dispose of it because i heard that it's not even easy to dispose of things like <laughs> um, abroad life is not easy but we can manage we'll survive people have been doing it they do not die so we'll survive and one thing i know is that whatever becomes your new normal that becomes your reality and your comfort zone okay so as much as before like right now, I'm, I'm actually excited at the um thoughts of traveling um, I think I showed you guys in, in previous videos where I was actually ba I was battling it, okay? But right now, I'm excited because the truth is that I will, I will survive, I will thrive, I will do well, I will be happy. Things will work out for my good. Things will go well for me and my family, wherever we are. So, let me stop attaching ha my happiness to Nigeria. It's not like Nigeria is making me particularly happy anyway. So, what is it? <laughs> but, yeah, so, let me just keep showing you guys some of the things that we're going to be carrying um these are i just bought this basket so all the baskets will be together inside here is some ankara my mom is sending more ankara so yeah i'm going to be carrying ankara because i don't know how it's going to be there but i just want to carry some ankara so that if i want to make ankara dresses for me and my kids then i would have material for I, when i get there i'm going to buy a new sewing machine i want to carry my sewing machine actually but my husband was like, what's the point? Can I buy a new one? Like, buy a more modern one. Because the sewing machine that I have, my mom bought it for me on my wedding day. Like, for my wedding, that was 12 years ago. And it wasn't even, like, brand new then. It's a very good brand. It's a very strong brand. It's not, like, it's not China, okay? It's a very, very good, strong brand. Like, this this is 12 years. And mind you, I hardly service, I hardly service the sewing machine. But still, the sewing machine is doing very well. So, 
I wanted to carry, but my mother was just saying that when I reach there, I should just buy a new one. There's no point, you know. So I'm like, okay, no wahala, as long as you give me the money, no wahala. <laughs> I'm carrying this plant as well with this vase. I'm carrying this table and these chairs. This basket is going. These chairs are supposed to be three. Um, so then under here, I have some more things. So some of my gadgets, this car seat, we're going with this car seat for Sophia. Um, Sophia and Eva, I think we have to buy one for Eva. Then these are duvets. I made these duvets in um, Abba. There are five of them. So they are duvet sets, bed sheets, blankets, um, and um, duvet cover. Then duvet and duvet cover. Then these are some of the bags that have our things. These are some of my husband's gadgets. Basically, almost everything in this store is going with us. Yeah, basically almost everything. In here, I have attachments. I have attachments and wool. So you now I was even thinking of buying more wool. But look, 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 but I hardly do one for my kids. It's going to be like a one, once, once, once or twice a year thing. Maybe I should just buy more. Mm. Anyway, um, we're also taking this. With, these are my makeup storage stuff. This is my sewing storage stuff. They're also taking these lights. They're taking this stand. They're taking this lamp. Um, I'm taking my lamp upstairs as well. Okay, I'm taking my office chair. So for my kids' playroom, ah, I'm going to use this playroom. Oh. Anyway, for my kids' playroom, some of that thing. So these are going in here. I have their random things, painting stuff. In here, same thing. Um, then in here, I have some things that I'm going with. This is wallpaper. I'm going with wallpaper. Then some random sewing, like their new, new, new. Um, what is the name? They have some new stationery and stuff in here and books in here so we are going with all of these for the kids this thing they need to wash it and put it though because i'm going with this one they should paint with something else you can give them to wash I'm going with it who brought out my my speaker i'm going with this speaker as well i don't know who brought it out though i'm going with this one as well i don't know who brought it out this one is for sentimental reasons nobody uses this thing in my house <laughs> but my mom bought it a long time ago like a long time ago before any of us even had kids so for sentimental reasons i'm going to take it wherever i go okay it's a piece of my mom as grandma not my mom as my mom but my mom as grandma that's a piece of her um let me take some to the kitchen nothing else here is going mostly because they are still going to be using here till oh the sophia's kitchen oh my goodness you guys it's not gonna be easy oh huh. okay then in my actual kitchen let me turn on the lights in my actual kitchen i am not taking much from this kitchen sadly but you see this bad boy here or this good boy here or good girl <laughs> i am taking my my fridge i don't care if the house comes with two fridges and a, a, a freezer i don't care you see this fridge it must hold us and go there because first of all this fridge is quite new i mean it's not like it's not it's, it's a few months old anyway but i mean we bought it this year that's number one number two i haven't even like it's just like i was thinking about it that i haven't even like removed some things from this fridge like all these oh, this fridge i like leaving it open oh, it's smelling a bit damp anyway like all these um things let me show you guys what i mean all these things that come with new fridge, I didn't even remove a lot of them because, you know, I don't know why, but I, I know I, I think I know why, but I don't know why. See now, some of the nylon is still here, <laughs> and I know that one of the things that is going to help me a lot is this something I can buy and put in here to absorb the smell. Maybe I can just pour in some of my coffee there. Anyway, I know that I am going to need a lot of um organize i'm going to need to organize myself very well to be able to function there well i'm going to be cooking in box i don't mind having two three fridges in fact i don't mind putting this fridge in my living room beside the chair i don't i don't care okay it's not like i have any visitors that i really care about coming to visit me there and even if if i care about you enough to visit me then you should not understand so i must carry this fridge that's that's just the bottom line of everything i, I just came here to say um aside this fridge nothing else from this kitchen no nothing else from this kitchen everything should just go i beg these are all the things that we are going to be carrying bought these rubbers and we've 
kept them to dry so now i'm just going to clean them and then store our gary and beans this is beans this is beans i bought types of beans i bought white beans for akara and i bought honey beans for um eating so honey beans i think i bought there's still more here i don't know which one i, I want to pack all these things to doing and see if i have more space to pack things um i don't think we're carrying this poundo yam let me leave it for them to be eating first when i'm going eventually i'm going to buy poundo yam um and put them inside our bag so the things on this side we're not carrying them i'm not carrying my mixer as well i've had this mixer for years as well and i bought it 40k the same amount my mom bought my I be 45k the same amount my mom bought my uh what's the name my sewing machine but i want to leave them behind so that when i come to nigeria and i visit especially because i'll be going to the village anytime i come to nigeria and i visit and maybe want to make a kara my mixer will be there and my sewing machine will be there my mom has sewing machine anyway but whatever um so these are containers that i want to use and store food when i'm traveling so i bought this one to, to cook for especially for canada i don't know about the uk trip or whether i'll carry cooked food
So, you guys, all my hard work is going. All my hard work. <laughs> Okay, they said they are going to leave two cartons for me open. So if I figure out anything I want to add, I can add to these two cartons. I me, mean, I want to add to the ad. I don't know what else to add. Like, I definitely don't know what else to add. I know they, for they didn't forget this one. They need to pack it. Guys, this is a truck that's coming to carry our things. 